Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. So we have this dashboard here, and it's great, but we'd like to add a little more pizzazz, a little more variety, color in between these charts to make it a little more uh, engaging. And so that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in, in today's video. First thing we need to do is grab a background. And I'm just, I usually go to PowerPoint and grab a background here that I like. I just use the snipping. You may have your own screen capture. Maybe you've got some other pictures somewhere. Then I'm going to save it. But back in Tableau, I've got a brand new sheet called Custom Background. And I am going to grab Image. I'm going to actually make sure you're untiled. Come under Image, and I'm going to drop the image, and it's going to ask me to insert a file. I'm going to select the file that we just had. So I've gone ahead and selected that. Fit the image, center the image, apply. Now this is on automatic. If you are using a fixed size, what you may end up with is you may end up with a greater gap up here, this white space on either side. And to fix that problem, you either need to create a new snapshot or screenshot of your background, or you need to change the size of your, your dashboard. Once you have this on your background, look at the layout. If you were to add anything else, you're going to try and add a new horizontal container. It's not going to work. So when you do this method, then everything else has to be floating. Now you can add horizontal items on here, but floating is what you're now going to have to do. And so we're going to bring over the text, which is going to be our title. And we'll just make this all the way out to the side, on both sides. What we'll need to do then is change the background color again. Come under Layout, Background. I think we had a greenish color. So you may have to do a little fiddling around with how how wide the items are to get the to get this all lined up. One thing that I might do if you had a custom image is come here and take off the outer padding and that'll take it right to the, the edge. And then you could do the same thing with this, take this right out to the edge. Now it's just a simple matter of, we're gonna bring in the, let's see what, what we got here, state bar chart and then segment and sales. We're bringing in the state bar chart, It's remember it's floating. We're gonna bring that here. And you know, you may have to do some sizing and we're gonna fix that in just a second. But now you can bring over your vertical container and you can put in the segment bar chart. You're gonna to have to hit shift so that it fills into the floating bar, the floating container. And then sales scatter, also again, bring over, hit shift. And you can see where it's the little, uh, the gray bar where it's, where it will drop. So a couple things when you see this, things are looking a little bit weird. You can, on the right hand side is a vertical, a vertical container was added that has the, the color legend. So here's the vertical container. And this one we may want to change, maybe make this floating and you could move this somewhere else. And then I would go through here and just remove that container because there's nothing in there. Horizontal, you can remove that. And what we're trying to do is we got to get this so that it's all the way over. Custom background. Okay, this is what we need. We need to go ahead and X and remove that. Now it goes all the way to the edge again. So how do we get the, we'll just leave this. 
We'll leave it right there in that corner. I know it covers up a spot, but how do we get these titles to show as white? Select the, the item. So here you have the state bar chart. We're on the layout page. You come in here and select white. There is another option, and we'll do this. On this one is the segment bar chart. If you come to the segment bar chart and do format of shading, the worksheet is white. And if you come under here to format the title, you could have the title as white. Now look what's going to happen. When you do that, when you have the title as white, it has a thin line because there's that padding around it. So you can see through there. And that might be that might be fine. You know, actually you may want that to give a little bit of uh, differentiation. A little more I don't know if that's the right word or not. Oops. One thing I am going to show you is we did, when we went to format, you'll notice the worksheet is already showing as white. Here's what happens if we hit none. The background is going to show up. And it's going to look like this. Now the other way to get around that is to once again, if you've got this item selected, come under the layout page. This is going to make this whole chart white background. It removes that line as well. So those are two options, but that's how you get a custom background. The key is bring in an image, drop it down, and then put in every, put in your other worksheets. If you have another approach that you like, that you find helpful, let me know in the comments below. I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.